I went to Swinead in 1985 as principal, and um, I was one of five schools that uh, were the original five that, that were magnet schools. And uh, I had a, a big job to do in a short amount of time because they were, when, when I went in, they were not sure what was going to happen, how this plan would be written to accommodate the schools that they had chosen. And in probably maybe three months, I, I had to select a staff, I had to order materials, and get ready for a new school. Just prior to that, the year before, we had been moved out of the building because part of the desegregation effort was to revitalize buildings. And Swinney went through a construction period of about a year. And then we came back and thus started all the other things. Now, what I remember pretty vividly about starting um, when I became a part of the desegregation effort, there was not a desegregation team at that time. And uh, many people that are people that I learned to know were Gene Eubanks, um, uh, Don Waldrop, uh, Dan Levine, and um, many others that I did not know. However, I think when they put this committee together, it didn't seem as though it truly represented the community, which was an argument all the time uh, between the politicians, the unions, and um, the community at large. Everybody wanted their person on that committee. Uh, after that started, it was, I think I was just in awe of the tasks that I had going forth because I had no idea where I was going. The plan wanted to bring white children back to the city. And in an effort to do that, there were all kinds of issues going on at the time where the outlying districts were uh, chosen to be a part of the suits, but what happened, the judge threw them out. Um, judge Clark at the time wanted everything to be seamless. However, that was hard to do because part of the plan represented transportation as the biggest issue be, just below what the cost of renovating buildings were going to be. But when the uh, transportation effort started, kids came from as far away as uh, way north, 10, 15 miles near Liberty. And I had kids who came from south as far as Grandview. This program was set up to say that, suggest that if kids lived as far away and wanted to attend a school in the city, they were able to do so with no cost to the parents on transporting them. Many children came in in cabs because there may, have, may not have been any more than one or two kids in that family. Um, in the afternoons, they wanted something that attracted even more, which was the before and after school programs. And um, then they wanted to, the children who lived in the community that went to private schools that were white, somehow to attract them back into the neighborhood schools. And much of, we had a population that, uh, not a population, but a range of, of percentages that we had to keep at that time. It was 60% white and 40% black or other uh, minorities. It wasn't hard for me to do because uh, at that time, the line was truced and over. So I had an 
I was uh, fortunate to pull in so many kids that were white from Maine and over. And um, so I never had a problem with the population, uh, uh, with mine becoming stabilized. Uh, during that effort, I think the plan wanted to have more community involvement. So surely I was young then and energetic and anything that I could attend, I did it to promote uh, magnet schools. I uh, sat on boards, etc., trying to make people know that I knew what I was doing, A, and that I could run the school. So many of my parents at that time came from Hyde Park. Uh, they came from the Valentine area. And all of these areas are pretty well established, older, uh, very high income parents. And so what my uh, demographics looked like was that I had the range of doctors down to uh, people that were on uh, aid from the, the state aid. So I never had the problem, never in attracting kids. My biggest concern during that time, however, was how, what, kind of setup am I going to have that will draw these people into the city? And A, I knew all of the effective things that they tell you about a school, that you need a good leader, you have to have a good climate, have good teachers, and on and on. Parents feeling uh, that they are uh, comfortable in coming to the school. So uh, that was a framework from whence uh, I could follow in determining what would I do with this new challenge.